Hello everybody, it's Dark Vader, and we're here to give you a quick tutorial on how to fix an issue with Heroes of the Storm and using SLI. If you don't know, SLI is using two NVIDIA video cards connected together for improved graphic performance. So what a lot of people have been having an issue with is textures kind of popping up on screen, black boxes appearing, sometimes teal blue boxes appearing, and it's a, it's a very common problem with people who are using SLI and playing Heroes of the Storm. Storm. And this is a really quick, easy way to fix that problem. Now, I will say I'm not a big fan of using this as a fix, but currently it is the only way I know how to fix it. So uh, it's not the worst thing. It's just it can be a little annoying at times. What you're going to want to do is just right click on your desktop and you should have this option here in video control panel. If you don't, you're probably not using SLI as you most likely don't have the drivers. Otherwise, they maybe they're corrupt and you're going to need to reinstall your drivers. But you should definitely have this with NVIDIA graphic cards. Now, this may be a slightly different depending on the version of drivers you are using. I'm using the most current as today, but you should have an option that says something like stereoscopic 3D. And what this option is for is actually for 3D, like with glasses. Now, it doesn't matter if your monitor supports that or if you have glasses, it doesn't matter. So just ignore that portion of it. What you need to do is enable it and then run the setup wizard. Now, I think this these options are different for older driver versions, but uh, I'll run the setup wizard here and show you guys which option you're going to want to pick. It may be named differently, but you'll be able to figure it out pretty easy. I'm, I'm fairly confident of that. All right, so this is the, the screen with the latest driver version in order to select what kind of 3D vision you want to set it up for. Now, like I said, it doesn't matter what kind of 3D vision you want to set it up for. The one you need to set it up for is the red and blue glasses. So if, you, if this isn't the screen that you get when setting up the 3D option on your NVIDIA graphics card, select whatever option is going to give you the red and blue glasses. Uh, you got the little icon here. I'm not sure what it looks like with older versions, though. Then you just simply hit Next. It's going to bring you through a few steps to configure it, which is kind of obnoxious, but you just got to go through it. It's going to bring up kind of a red, crazy-looking screen, at least for me. I don't know if it will in the video. And what you need to do is select the right options here. Now, it's very difficult to do at first without the red and blue glasses because you don't know which are which. I believe, for, I believe it's the, the hexagon for me and the blue square or blue triangle arrow, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you, so you select the correct options, you hit next. If you selected the wrong options, it'll tell you, and then you have to go back and select the right ones again. Basically, the setup wizard is trying to make sure you actually have glasses and you, you have this set up. Uh, and then what you're going to want to do is pick the box with the square in the middle, because that's what you should see, it, that you understand. Hit next. And then uh, I generally just uncheck these. I mean, unless you do have 3D, I don't. So I don't need any type of wizard or anything like that. Uh, hit finish, and then that's all you have to do on this end of it. Now, the next portion of it will be to jump into the game. Now, I don't know if this is going to affect other games or not. I haven't really tested it out on too many games. So you may need to turn this off from time to time, depending on if it's causing issues with your other games. However, most current games are going to have an option that allow you to turn 3D on and off. So what you need to do is just turn that option off in game. It probably looks completely normal on your end for the video, but you can run into it where the whole screen is really red or blue, and that's because it's trying to do it's trying to use those 3D glasses that we set it to. So what you need to do if is just go into your options here, go down to the stereoscopic 3D and disable it. Now I have had an issue where I have to go into options and just click stereoscopic 3D for it to turn off. So it'll be disabled in the options, but for some reason the game re-enabled it because I alt-tabbed out or something. So if you ever notice that the screen gets the red overlay again, you just need to pop into options, click on the stereoscopic 3D, and make sure this is disabled. Um, and that's pretty much it. I have had zero problems with textures popping in and out of the game since then, so it has helped me significantly. I hope it helps you guys. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Uh, I'd be happy to answer any of them. I know that I was very frustrated with it for the first few days that I was using NVIDIA SLI, uh, and then once I figured this out, it has just made my life a lot easier. I don't have to worry about it anymore. So I hope this helps. Make sure you guys check out some of my other videos on Heroes of the Storm, and let me know what you think of them. I will talk to you all again next time.